Hey guys, welcome to another female foodie taste test. Today we are going to be trying eight different varieties of store-bought cinnamon rolls. Obviously an amazing homemade cinnamon roll is gonna blow any of these out of the water, but we thought it would be fun to try all the major brands of the pop and bake cinnamon rolls. And then we also threw in just for fun two of the frozen Rhodes varieties too. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different varieties. We're gonna go ahead and get started. A couple quick things to note. First and foremost, we literally bought every single kind of cinnamon roll we could buy that was either frozen or refrigerated, ready to bake. So if there's like a brand we're missing, it's because we couldn't find it. We're based out of Salt Lake City and I'm pretty sure I went to like seven stores to buy as many brands of cinnamon rolls that I could find. So the second thing is we bake these all according to package instructions to keep the, the playing field level. And then the third thing is that we did not include any cream cheese icings. Like a lot of these brands have a cream cheese icing counterpart. So we stuck with either the classic icing or like buttercream frostings. Okay, what are we starting with? So we're starting with the Rhodes Anytime. All you have to do is put them straight from the freezer in your oven and then the cook time includes the preheating time in the oven so um, these definitely have the worst color of all of them which kind of reminds me of a Rhodes roll that's just they they're kind of always a little bit sad and pale in color so Cody had the brilliant idea that we take all bites from the middle and I agree that the very best bite from a cinnamon roll is totally it's the center so you gotta go in the middle no fork and knife for me There's a decent buttery flavor in there. Pretty pedestrian. It's all just kind of a little vanilla to me. I think that's how a lot of these are gonna taste. Not bad, but not great. Just kind of middle of the road. It is nice that it comes with this little container, so if you're like traveling or something, you don't have to have, to have dishes or clean up after. So these are the Rhodes Thaw Rise Bake Rolls. So what you do with these ones is they stay in the freezer and then three to five hours prior to baking, you let them rise. I think I let them rise a little bit too much because they're kind of enormous, but they do look good. They smell good in the oven. So let's try them out. Let's do it. This one definitely is more bready. My goodness. Okay. Mm. These ones I think are much better. Oh yeah, even the icing. That one's way better. They're bready, but it's a good bready. Mm -hmm. They're fluffy, they're delicious. They're light. We only had two contenders for the frozen category of our cinnamon roll taste test, but I think that we can agree that the Rhodes Thaw Rise Bake were the better. Definitely. Next up are these Pillsbury Grands. So we actually have three different containers of bigger cinnamon rolls, <laughs> and this is one of the three. So it's it's Pillsbury, but the, the branding is called Grands. I would say visually, these are the best looking ones. They're definitely the best looking ones. <laughs> Hmm. There's something a little odd there. Why does the bread taste so different? It's kind of dense, huh? Yeah. Taste definitely not matching up with the looks. I expected more from these based off the looks. Yeah, they looked good. They're not terrible, but they're not amazing. Okay, next we've got Trader Joe's, which I feel like they're continually trying to redeem themselves after the eggnog. <laughs> if you haven't seen yet, we did a giant eggnog taste test and shockingly their eggnogs were some of the very worst. <laughs> the peppermint bark was also not very good from there. The hot chocolate was good though. But their hot chocolate was good. So yep. if I could guess, I would say that we're gonna like these, but Kay. we'll see. Oh yeah. I'm not obsessed. Yeah, it's definitely better than the Pillsbury, but it's, there's like a little bit of a weird. Like a uh, kind of chemically taste. Yeah, it just, it tastes very. These don't tempt me at all. Yeah. Next up we have Annie's Homegrown. We asked, of course, our readers, which cinnamon rolls to get. This was a reader favorite. A lot of people said they loved these pop and bake Annie's cinnamon rolls. So, cool. let's see how they are. They look good. Hmm. They're kind of like, <laughs> they taste like they're wheat cinnamon rolls or something. Yeah, there's like some heft. I'm not dying over it, but 
That's like, I, I would keep mindlessly eating this if it was in front of me. Pretty good. Uh, I would eat it, but I'm not like over the moon. You're not gonna be like craving these at 1 a.m.? No. We conserved space with this baking sheet because now we've moved to those more standard classic size. Wouldn't you say the smaller ones are like? Yeah. What these one were you classics. Say? Quick preface, because we've got three of these to try. These were way harder to separate the rolls. I don't know what the deal was, but the big ones were so much easier to put on the sheet. And these yeah. got stuck really easily. So we'll start with these ones on the left. These are like the Pillsbury original, most classic, classic icing, classic roll. I don't know if it's normal or if it was just like a factory error, but these ones looked terrible right when they came out of the packaging. And then when they were baked, there's just no, there was just no distinct swirl. The cinnamon is just kind of scattered about. So these just kind of look like actual rolls, not like structured cinnamon rolls, but. Yeah, hey, if it tastes good, we don't care. Yeah, right? it tastes we good, don't care. great. Average. The flavor of the bread isn't bad. Yeah, I think maybe it being smaller helps it a little bit. On this side of the baking sheet, we have the Pillsbury Cinnabon. I say Cinnabon, you say? Cinnabon. Cinnabon. You'll have to let us know what Cinnabon. you guys think is right. I've always said Cinnabon. I've got high hopes for this one. This one looks decent. Yeah, this one looked good as it came out of the oven. Yeah, I'm so. excited about this one. I think those are the best we've tried so far that are like pop and bake. I like this one. Breading, it just tastes better. But it does have a bit of a buttery taste mm -hmm. to it. Last but not least, we have the generic Food Club brand. By the way, I did buy the jumbo version of these as well as the minis, but it exploded in the car. I'm guessing though that these miniature versions taste similar to the big ones. So they're definitely the most sad in appearance, I would say. Yes. Besides the Pillsbury ones that were not yeah. structured. But let's see how they taste. <laughs> oh, the aftertaste on that one is pretty rough. Are you getting that? Ah, I don't like these. Oh. These aren't the absolute worst, but they're they're not good. No, I think they're the worst. <laughs> Alright, I'm all cinnamon rolled out. <laughs> yes. Now we're gonna reveal our rankings for the refrigerated ready to bake cinnamon rolls. So Who's coming in at number six? So coming in at number six is pretty clearly, honestly, the food club. These just kind of suck. From the looks to the taste to the aftertaste, especially for me, uh, it was just pretty, pretty bad. The jumbo version of these like exploded on me, so. So the quality control also maybe not so great. <laughs> coming in at number five were the Pillsbury Grands. They were the most beautiful looking ones, but they were a little bit disappointing. Actually really disappointing. Coming in at number four were the Trader Joe's cinnamon rolls. I think we were both like crossing our fingers that these would actually taste like kind of homemade. Yeah, They're, and they weren't, you know, they weren't that much better than the Pillsbury. They were both kind of pretty, pretty bad. bad. <laughs> Coming in at number three, also not very good, were the Annie's Homegrown. Yeah, it was better. Like we definitely could sense a difference and it's, it's, uh, it's better than the Trader Joe's, but but yeah, it just kind of still had that like manufactured taste a little bit. I know that Annie's tries to be intentional about using like better ingredients in a lot of their products, but these cinnamon rolls tasted like wheat cinnamon rolls to me. And I don't know, I just feel like when you're you're eating a cinnamon roll, you want it to be like fluffy and soft yeah, and, and not, not like you're eating a piece of wheat toast or something. <laughs> Coming in at number two is the Pillsbury Original Icing. The OG. The OG. I feel like if we would have had a can of these cinnamon rolls that were actually like structured, we would have liked. But them maybe that's more. how they're supposed to be. Who's to say they're not? Yeah, I think that's honestly how they come. I don't think so. So whether or not they were supposed to look the way that they came, we agreed that these had decent taste. Yeah. I would say it was the first cinnamon roll that we didn't really dislike. <laughs> that just was. Yeah. It was. It was fine. Yeah. Okay. Coming in at number one, the refrigerated cinnamon rolls was... The Pillsbury Cinnabon Butter Cream Frosted Cinnamon Rolls. They were definitely one of the best looking out of the smaller ones. They had great structure and we felt like the flavor was the best out of these. It definitely has a more buttery flavor, but if I had to eat any of the refrigerated cinnamon rolls, yeah. we both agreed. 
that this would be the one. So two main takeaways. Number one, even though we separately ranked both the frozen and the refrigerated cinnamon rolls, we wholeheartedly agreed that the very best cinnamon rolls out of all these combined was the Rhodes Thaw Rise Bake. It like had the fluffiness, it was soft, um, and the, the icing was good. The only real difference between these and the rest is that you just have to think about it three or four hours in advance instead of like three minutes in advance. But I feel like if I had to buy a store-bought cinnamon roll, I'd a hundred times rather have these than, than any of the others, including the Rhodes Anytime Rolls that we tried. Correct. Which leads me to our second conclusion, which was that None of these were very good. Yeah. I think that, you know, some of these brands, especially like Trader Joe's, we were hoping we might come across a ready to bake cinnamon roll that we were like, oh my goodness, this is so good. But yeah. they were pretty underwhelming. I would buy these Rhodes frozen ones again. Mm -hmm. I would not buy any of the others again. Yeah, I think we're seeing like with some things, there's a bigger difference between making it at home and uh, just going to buy it. Moral of the story, don't buy store-bought cinnamon rolls, just make them yourself. But in a pinch, the thaw, rise, and bake. These were the best. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on our next video.